Helen Zetoun. She is with Ipsos, CEO of France and also the Global Science Function. So welcome, Helen. Thank you very much, Beth. So here we are at Web Summit. This is your first Web this Summit? This is my first Web Summit. We're excited to be here. This is such an energy around here. What are your reactions to uh, things you like the best? My reaction is that you need to be here. Uh, when you are engaged in a transformation in industries where data plays a big role, you really need to be here to also be exposed to other industries being involved with the same issues. But that's, that's really very inspiring and um, the place to be, I feel. Yes, there are so many industries here. It is really fun. So Ipsos is a uh, marketing uh, company or at least marketing research company. Uh, and you're going through a digital transformation as I think almost everybody is. How's yours going? How is the progress on your digital transformation? Uh, it is a fantastic time, I have to say, because um, Ipsos is indeed a market research company, so has always been involved with data, per se, because we're collecting data, interviewing people, qualitative, quantitative, having models run on this, being always on the truth behind the data, the people behind the data. But our transformation today in this industry, and with Ipsos in particular, has to do with different sources of data, that help you better understand the world where we are. Today, the world is changing very much. Everybody is having different kind of behavior. We're changing our behavior uh, all the time, but it's difficult to decrypt. And if you want to do that properly, you need to have a total understanding of phenomenon. And for that, a multi-data approach, not just with survey that we've been forever, it's a very strong at, but integrating some other sources of data and then changing the whole value chain to support this change and help our clients with their own transformation. Amazing. There's so much being said now about the customer experience Absolutely. and how the customer experience is changing. I assume you're working very much on how you change the customer experience. Absolutely. In fact, we're working on how we change our customer experience with uh, making the most out of data today at, and, and helping them in a better decision making and much more accurate as well as helping them with their own customers' experience. So people experience, you know, citizens, uh, customers of brands, these are the same people. And how that all works is changing so much that you need to really have a rationale behind it and people who are bringing insights uh, behind the data. And this is all about technology, but there's always the people side. Yeah. How is transformation going with the people who work at Ipsos? Do you, what are you doing in terms of change management or whatever to help the people embrace it? This is a very good question because it's all about it. It's not just actually about having a goal and a strategy to move forward with uh, data science and artificial intelligence, make sure that we have more of those profiles within the organization, and yes, we do. Uh, we have launched the Global Science Organization I'm responsible for with data scientists and artificial intelligence people around the world, including also neuroscience, behavioral science. But the real thing is not only this. The real thing is to connect the dots with the people who have always been doing research and to make sure that those who execute research are also adapted in their everyday paradigm uh, and then making sure that also project management, to your point, turning to your favorite topic, and that's one of my favorite ones as well, uh, is changing as well. Because honestly, digital transformation and data transformation uh, has to do not just with data work, but with the whole value chain. And when you think value chain, you think culture, you think people exchanges, you think of the bridges between the scientific people who need to understand business and the business people who need to understand science. And you need to make sure in this uh, world that the people who do the research are those who are leading projects, do it with a different kind of mindset, with those, a different kind of ecosystem, with those science people and those business people inspired by science and what's their role here. And I think they do have a responsibility. We need to train them to the other mindset and a little bit of the knowledge of science as well to make sure that they play an active role in the transformation and that are not just uh, you know, being asked to do the same job as before, but they should play really, be active, be a change agent as well. 
there's always that fear that AI is going to replace them or is AI going to help them be more efficient? So you're trying to manage that. We are definitely managing that with the, the good part of AI, where they will spend less time and they are already spending less time at tasks that are less interesting. And we expect them to be bringing all their collective and individual intelligence, because in artificial intelligence, let's not forget human intelligence, and put their human intelligence on the connections uh, with uh, different people in the ecosystem and making sure that they are understanding the goals, why we do all of this and that they are, uh, you know, being able to say yes or no to how we have to lead a project. Um, so you have the good sides, you spend less time on the difficult tasks you didn't like so much. And then uh, the very good thing as well is to use it, but for more time, on a different kind of posture within the organization. I think it's uh, it's so important that they understand the objective of what they're doing. Absolutely. What's the end goal and where it fits in and part of your change management, I'm sure. And Absolutely. you mentioned project management. It's one of our favorite topics. How does Ipsos, do you break down uh, your market research projects in with project managers? Just curious how yeah embedded project management is in your organization? It is, uh, it is core to the organization. It has always been. It's not something new for us because we are, uh, we have like, like a factory of data that needs to bring insights. And uh, so it's really like a, a backbone of the organization project management. You need to execute properly with excellence. Uh, and for that, uh, you need to really have people who know the job that's a profession, that's an expertise. And uh, we are so keen at the quality of data, not just, you know, whatever opaque algorithm on data at all. We are keen at making sure that the quality is there, there's truth behind the data, uh, that uh, really the, it's an expertise to know where the data comes from and what you do with the data alongside the, the, the value chain. So yeah, it's core. It's wonderful to hear that you are as committed to project management as we at Brightline are. So thank you so much, Helen, for being with me today. Thank you very much. And I think you put the finger on something that people don't talk so much about, yes. project management when it comes to transformation. Yes. I appreciate this very much because okay. it's core to a transformation. Great, thank you. Thank you to you.